But then the next question is, how do you specify colors, locations, fonts and so on of various elements? That's where cascading style sheet CSS comes in. Before CSS, you could style it, but it was kind of very hard to reuse the styles. And then these two gentlemen came out and proposed something called a CSS. And they proposed three ways to actually style the elements. The first one is the inline styles using a style attribute. And the second is a style tag, where you create a style tag and put it anywhere in HTML. And then lastly, using a .css file where you uh, keep the entire style sheet in a separate file and then load it using a link tag in the HTML. But then how does a browser deal with CSS? It uses another program called CSS Parser to convert raw CSS into something called a CSS OM, CSS Object Model. And CSS Object Model is also a tree-like structure where each node represents styles of various elements. And from JavaScript's perspective, you can think of DOM and CSOM as represented by a single object by the name document. And then you can use APIs on this document object to make changes to both DOM and CSSOM. And just to recap, we have HTML parser that loads HTML and creates DOM tree. And then we have CSS parser that loads CSS file and then creates CSSOM tree. On the top left, see raw HTML source file, which is static. And on the top right, you see the output of this HTML. On the bottom left, you see the DOM, which is a live model, and you can change it using JavaScript. On the bottom right, you see the CSSOM of this particular H1 element.